and girls, how are you? Today is a beautiful day. It's the third Sunday of the month. We say that this is the day that the Lord has made. And we will be glad. We will be glad in it. So, boys and girls, uh, before we start our lesson, I want us to put your hands together, bow your head, so that we can begin with a word of prayer. Okay. Everlasting Father, we come before you this beautiful day with praises, with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you for your goodness, for you have been so good to us, O oh Father. You have taken care of us. You have brought us into a new year and even to this third Sunday of the month of February. We do not take it for granted. We know that your blessings has been upon us and your hand has been upon us. Therefore, even as we begin this lesson, we ask that your presence will be with us. We speak your blessings. We ask that you bless the children who are learning this lesson today. We ask that you bless all the children that will be watching. We pray that you bless their parents and bless us all. For it is in Jesus' name that we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. And all the children said, Amen. 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 Okay. So before we begin our lesson, I want us to sing a song. I believe it's a song that is uh, known to all of us. So begin to put your hands together. So the title of the song is Prayer is the Key. Prayer is the key. Okay. So <laughs> prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the key. Prayer is the master key. Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. Prayer is the master key. Thank you, boys and girls. So we will go to our lesson now. We will uh, go to our lesson. I want you to be ready with your notebooks. I want you to be ready with your Bibles. Okay, so this whole month of February, boys and girls, we have been learning about one topic. I hope you, you can remember the topic that we've been learning, today being the third Sunday. So the last two Sundays, you've been learning about prayer. The whole month of February, our focus is just about prayer. And the last two Sundays, we learned that uh, the definition of prayer, what is prayer, and we learned that prayer is actually communicating with God or talking with God, talking with God, who is our creator. Okay, so today being the third Sunday, I want you to write the lesson for today. Lesson for today is purpose of prayer. We are looking at the purpose of prayer. And we are also looking at, uh, we will be seeking to answer the question, how should we pray? How should we pray or why should we pray? Okay, so I hope you've written that down and then we will be also going through some scriptures together. We'll be reading the word of God together. Okay, so we've just sung the song, Prayer is the Key. And we've said that prayer is the master key. And being the followers of Jesus Christ, we seek to emulate what our Lord and Savior did when he was here on earth because he came to show us the way. We usually sing the song, he came from heaven to earth to show the way. That is exactly what Jesus came. He came from heaven to earth to come and show us the way. So we have said Jesus started with prayer. And Jesus did what? Ended with prayer. When you read Matthew chapter 4, maybe you can write it down, you'll read it in your free time, you will see Jesus, before he started his ministry, he took time to go to the wilderness for how many days, boys and girls? For 40 good days. He took time to pray and also to fast before he started his ministry. That's why we are saying, Jesus started with prayer. That is the part, Matthew chapter 4. He started with prayer. And also, when you read the story of Jesus, and I know many of you have watched the film of Jesus Christ, you see him again. Before he went to the cross, we see him praying in the Garden of Gethsemane. Jesus, ended, Jesus started with prayer and ended with prayer. 
prayer is the master key. And then at one point also his disciples asked him, Jesus Christ, how should we pray? How should we pray? Because they saw Jesus praying a lot, a lot during his time here on earth. And that is a story for another day. We will look also at that. But I just want you to have it in your mind. So today we are looking at why should we pray and how should we pray? So boys and girls, I want you to write uh, an acronym. Do we know what is an acronym? It's just like uh, some words that will help us to remember how we should pray. So I want you to write A down. We will have an acronym, acronym of A, C, T, and an S. Just to help us to, to memorize how we should pray. So A, and then C, and then T, and then S. So A, C, T, S. A, C, T, S. So I want us to go through each, each, each of those words. So A, I want you to write down boys and girls. A is for adoration. Write it down. A is for adoration. And then I want you to write 1 Chronicles 29 verse 11. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 11. Okay, so what is adoration? Adoration is praising God for who he is. Adoration is praising God for who he is. Yeah? It is actually yeah, coming before him and uh, mentioning his qualities, mentioning his attributes, yeah, and praising him for, for who he is, okay? So let's open First Chronicles 29 verse 11. I hope you have your Bibles there. Okay, First Chronicles 29 11. Okay, I will read it from NIV version. It says, you as O Lord is the greatness and the power and the glory and the majesty and the splendor for everything in heaven and earth is yours. You as O Lord is the kingdom. You are exalted as head of our all. Yeah, you are exalted as head of our all. Okay. So even when you continue with other verses after that, it is still adoration to God. Yeah. So we've seen an example. That is actually a prayer that David made to God. And uh, he started, first of all, by praising God for who he is. That is the creator. He is the head of our all. To him belongs all power. Yeah, that is actually what that verse is showing to us. Okay, so there are very many Bible verses about adoration, especially in the book of Psalms. But today, we have looked at First Chronicles 29, verse 11. So we will go to C. What does the C mean? Remember, we are still writing down our acronyms. A is for adoration. C is for confession. C is for confession. Okay. So we are required to go to God in prayer and confess our sins. Because most of the time we are men and we fall short of his uh, expectations. And uh, that's why we confess. Yeah, we come to him in a sincere heart, knowing that uh, you have fallen short of his glory, and then you mention things where you know you went wrong, you confess to him. So I want you, boys and girls, to write First uh, John 1, chapter 9. First John, the book of First John in the New Testament. Open your Bible, First John 1, 9, eh? Okay, so I will read NIV version, my, my Bible that I have here. So it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Yeah, so that is the requirement. We are required to confess. You begin by confessing and then God says he is just and he is a merciful God. He is righteous. When we confess our sins to him, he will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Okay, so we are still going down. I don't want you to forget that we are writing down what the various acronyms mean. So we now go to T. T. T is for thanksgiving. T is for thanksgiving. So we are required to give thanks in our prayers for what God has done in your life. Yeah, There are so many things to give thanks for. That's why 
many songs uh, that we know about today yeah, are for giving thanks. Because God has done so much for you. God has done so much for me. And that's why when we come to him in prayer, we need to give him thanks for the gift of life. And then when you are thanking God, make sure you mention one by one what you are thanking him for. Yeah, don't just say, Lord, I thank you for everything. No, you're supposed to mention, count your blessings, name them one by one. We usually sing that hymn. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him for your parents. Thank him for the schools that you are going to. You thank him for the opportunity to, for your teachers, that you have teachers, opportunities to attend school. You thank him for that. Thank him for the food. You've not slept hungry. Thank him for shelter. There are so many things you can thank God for. You cannot exhaust that list. Okay. So I'll give you a, a verse for that, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, I want you to open Ephesians 5 verse 20. Ephesians 5 20, we read together. Ephesians, it's in the New Testament. That is the letter that was written by Paul to Ephesians, the church of uh, Ephesians. So Ephesians 5.20, NIV, I will read, always giving thanks to God, the Father, for everything in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, so that is the advice that is given to us today from the word of God, that we should always give thanks to God for everything, and we do it in the name of God, the Father. Okay, so last but not least, we go to supplications. Supplications, this is now where you tell God, you begin to pray for others first before you even mention your needs. So supplication, you begin to pray for the sick in hospital beds. You begin to pray for the leadership, your, the people in authority. You begin to pray for your parents. You begin to pray for the street children, the others who are homeless. Yeah, you pray for all those, the, the, those who are traveling. Yeah, there are so many needs that uh, are outside there. And then after that, you now present your request to God. What is it that you want God to help you in? What is it that you want God to do for you? So that one I'll mention one verse, Matthew 7.7. 7. I believe we know that one, Matthew 7.7. 7. So Matthew 7.7, 7, it says, Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and the door shall be opened unto you. So that is actually a call from Jesus Christ that we should go to him and ask. Yeah. So I believe, boys and girls, you have learned something about prayer, and I believe you will begin to practice. Get some time to pray in the morning, lunchtime if you are able to, and in the evening before you sleep. Okay, boys and girls. Right now I want to invite Emmanuel Keegan to give us the memory verse for, for today. Praise God. My name is Emmanuel King and our memory verse comes from Psalms 141 verse 2. May my prayers be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you very much Emmanuel Keegan for that memory verse. Uh, speaking also about prayer. So thank you very much boys and girls. I hope you are blessed and I wish you a happy 2023. So God bless you and bye. See you next time.